I'd like to show you how to make a Civil War encampment. We're going to start by making the tent. If we lay out three blocks side by side, and then do that again, that'll be the floor of the tent. And then we're going to make the walls out of five planks. So if we do them right on the table like that, they're nice and straight to start with, and we can just put those into place. And here's five more, nice and straight. We can put that in place. And we're going to want to do the uprights, uh, the tent poles. So we can put those right in the center and then push this in and it starts to stabilize those posts. We can make it completely straight by using that. And we'll put a cross piece there. Now we can start with the sides of the tent. And notice that these are just meeting at the top, so they're pushing in and pushing down. In this case, uh, if we had had the sides perhaps just three blocks high, notice that now these meet right in the middle of that post, and it's still okay, but if it's just a little bit off, you can see that that wobbles some. So uh, with a little bit of care, you could build it that way. But I think it's a little bit more stable if we come all the way up to five so that these are pushing in and down on that cross piece. And you'll see when we're done, we can move this tent around. So the, the more stable it is, the more we can do it with it. And the longer it'll stay up, it won't accidentally fall while we're building other things. And you can see that I'm building both sides at the same time, although you can do one at a time like that. It's not that fragile. But usually it's nice to do both sides so you keep things balanced. I can even stick this block inside here to straighten those out a little bit so the sides of my tent look nice and straight. And then by pushing in a little bit, I can move that tent or move that tent. Or I'd like to show you uh, a cannon. Oftentimes we have some cannons in with the camp. So uh, to build a cannon, we need to make something that looks sort of like wagon wheels because that's the way the cannons be moved around from one place to another. So we're going to assemble the blocks like this. Now we've come out, we're going to start coming back in. And we'll put a couple that are right together here. And then one more on top. Now we'll make the cannon itself. We'll do this with three blocks. So we have a nice square. We know cannons were round, but ours is going to be square. But it's still going to look like a cannon. And we can put these side pieces on here. This is what we used to, uh, to aim the cannons, to move them around. Horses could uh, haul them from one place to another. And so there we have a cannon. Now one other thing that's often associated with Civil War times is split rail fences. And that is kind of fun because it can help uh, show where the battle lines were or it just makes it look a little bit more rustic. So let me show you how we can easily make a split rail fence. Notice that these pieces are all parallel here and then these are parallel. So that's just a short section. I like to usually go about three high for a split rail fence. Uh, we could have the cannon aimed through here if we wanted to. Now, a nice way to finish off the end of this, if you wanted to have it going at a height of two and three all the way, is you can put a piece like this right at the end and then finish it off like that. Now, if we didn't have the cannons here, these tents could be at a, a scout camp, or you could just imagine you're going camping. You can also, uh, you could add a tree to this anytime you like. This makes a nice tree trunk, and then we can have some branches, and we could go up as high as we want. It's very easy to balance. If you went up this high, it would start to look more like a pine tree, and if we didn't have a trunk at all, then it, then it starts to look like a, like a bush. So we could uh, have some natural life going on in our, in our battlefield as well. So you can play around with that and uh, thank you for watching.